Hey everybody, this is Robert Mathis from the Quest for Groove and in this lesson we're going to look into something that I like to call a B section beat. You might recognize this situation where you're playing along to a song, you're playing a basic groove, kick, snare, hi-hat, and at some point the song moves into the B section and at that point you feel like your beat has to change as well. And a great thing to do in that situation most of the time is that you can move from your hi-hat to your ride symbol. That usually works great and that's what we're going to do in this lesson. I'm going to teach you a nice ride pattern. I'm going to put the ride on the after beats to give whatever you're playing along to more forward motion and I'm also going to teach you a difficult but tasty kick drum pattern to go along with it. All right, let's go. The quest for groove. Now, first things first, if you don't know how to set all of this up and you want to know how to link what sound to what pad and stuff like that, you want to check out this video. I'll also link to it below. That's all about the basics. Once you've got the basics down and you set this pad to a ride bell sound as opposed to a normal ride sound, then you're ready to go with the lesson. The first beat you want to teach yourself is this one. That's it. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. That's all you gotta do. And uh, you really wanna pay attention to sort of making this consistent. Pay attention to, for example, these three hi hats over here. Right? Can you make them sort of sound groovy no matter how slow you play this thing right that's 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 an interesting thing to focus on that's step one then step two is maybe speed this up a little bit together with a metronome i usually recommend people to play along to 50 bpm then 55 then 60 65 70 75 80 85 90 something like that that's sort of the range all the metron metronome tempos that you want to be playing along to and you just speed this thing up and then you you learn the basic groove that we're about to learn and what you can do then is play a regular 16th note groove on your kick snares and hi-hats it doesn't really matter what groove it is as long as it's 16th notes and then you try and move into this new pattern that you'll learn so you play something like uh right something like that could be slower doesn't really matter and you just do that for a while you, you can you know just jam along play this for 15 minutes move in and out of this pattern don't make it too complicated for yourself but just make it happen and if you are a good student you also do this together with a metronome I, I sometimes don't say this in my lessons but that's always the case right if you cannot play this along to a metronome at different tempos then you you can't do it at all in a way because that's what a drummer is supposed to be able to do so do that for a while and then you're ready to take things next level by learning the more complicated kick drum pattern that goes like this Let me just count out loud and take it a little bit slower. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. So that's the pattern, it spans two bars, pretty interesting, and you want to take the same approach as you did before, right? You want to learn this slowly, preferably count out loud, pay attention to everything, also these little hi-hat notes in between, sort of try and spread them out nicely, and then practice this with a metronome, 50 to 90 BPM, preferably, you know, take it one step at a time, really learn this well, and then you're ready to move from a regular hi-hat groove into the right groove.
Something like that, right? I, I was having fun, but it's always up to you to go and have fun yourself. Here's another video you might like. I'll be back soon with another lesson or another review or whatever I may post on this channel. Have fun playing, good luck practicing, and uh, see you around. Bye-bye.